Hello and welcome here on International Women's Day. I'm actually, let me just get my uh, controls hidden so that we uh, live a little more professional atmosphere here. Uh, yeah, welcome on this International uh, Women's Day. Essentially, uh, YouTube has asked for tributes to some of the female creators, uh, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, sorry if it's been a little while since I've uh, launched a video. I um, I've been working on my new book and it's going well and uh, I think you'll really really enjoy it when it comes out we've also got uh, our TV shows and uh, and some other projects coming down the pipe so if this is your first time to the channel be sure to like share and subscribe as always um, especially here where we're doing uh, maybe a tribute to some of your favorite female creators on YouTube uh, and again I'm going to find as many of these as I can today uh, so here's here's what's going on. Um, in honor of International Women's Day, YouTube has asked us to share. And let me just bring this up. This hashtag, which is she inspires me, right? Um, so essentially, if you could share this video with the hashtag she inspires me. Um, again, this video is a tribute to uh, Grace Randolph. We're going to have a few uh, other YouTubers featured on here today as well. But uh, let's get into Grace Randolph and why she inspires me and why she's special. So, um, Grace Randolph works for Beyond the Trailer. I, I believe she's the owner. Um, but let me look at her bio here really quick. So, she's been around, you know, she's been bumping around since 2008. She's had some really good views. Um, yeah, okay. So, she's the host and the creator. So, I can confirm she is the owner of this YouTube channel. Uh, she keeps her finger on the pulse of what's going on in Hollywood. Um, you know, she's, she's basically, she's doing live streams and she's doing uh, pre-recorded videos. Uh, she also does this movie math segment, which breaks down uh, the box office for Hollywood. There's very few channels that do that. And, uh, you know, there's also some tidbits about new Hollywood movies and things of that nature. So let's look at, some for video library and help to understand what what's so inspirational about grace first and foremost um if a new trailer drops you'll find out that that grace is right on top of it and that's hard to do especially on a sunday or a weekend uh i've seen her do shares you know really late at night where she hasn't had a chance to do any makeup or anything which i i really respect that as well when we're talking about she inspires me or, or international women's day, uh, being able to get on camera without any makeup, not worry about it and just, just do the job, you know, just go forward, entertain your fans. Um, but she has some really good takes. She's very funny and she's not, she's not preachy in any direction. She tries to keep it balanced, you know, um, we're all human. We all, we can't be perfectly objective, but, I'm very proud of how objective she's been, especially where, um, you know, she'll talk about women's rights and she'll talk about uh, feminism, but she also talks about, um, she also talks about men's rights and she also talks about the way that men are portrayed. And she's very much um, a fan of, of minorities and she's very much a fan of the gay community. Um, she's a very inclusive uh, type of person she has a very expressive face. Let's take a look at her video on the uh, on the Batmobile here really quick. Hi. Got a small favor to ask of you. Nope. Um, no offense, Bernie. It's not your video. All right, here we go. Thing. It is called the Bat Family. But yes, Matt Reeves has debuted his Batmobile. I love that he's being so open with the reveals for this movie. It works. It's a really good strategy. Uh, sometimes, you know, movies and studios will be very aggressive about hiding what they're doing. But it gets out. Uh, and doing it this way allows all of us to get excited about the movie. The best case we've seen of this, of course, was Suicide Squad. And that, the first one. And that, and also the new one, and that would have worked out with the first movie if the movie had been good itself. Notice uh, Grace's kind of pseudo PowerPoint presentation that she's doing here. I mean, it's in my opinion, it's it's a level up from the PowerPoint presentation where she's 
sliding these images in uh, as she's talking. And I think she's doing this in real time. I don't think she's doing any edits, which is pretty impressive. If you watch her right arm, um, I think she's mousing those images in, but just keep an eye out. But she's very um, expressive. She's got a nice backdrop behind her here. I think this is Manhattan. Um, and she's very passionate, you know, there's, there's nothing uh, fake about what she's doing. So let's go ahead and look at a little bit more here. So I think I think this is the way to go. You just stick the landing with the movie. And I think that this is a very good team that has been put together. And I think the odds are good that they will stick the landing. So yes, Matt Reeves has debuted his Batmobile. Several beautiful shots. They're so beautiful. Uh, and while Nolan's Tumblr and Batpod are a tough act to follow, you know, I loved what Zack Snyder and Ben Affleck did with the character. But when it comes to the Batmobile, they never really made their mark there. Uh, so I think Nolan's is the one to beat but by george i think reeves has done it borrowing from fast and furious and i believe also a little bit john wick now check out uh this is really impressive to me check out the the retro uh reference the the uh screenshot that was up just a second ago from one of those vintage movies where she says by george i think you've done it um that's an old school reference i would dare say easily that's a reference that's older than me, older than her. So it tells you how, how cultured she is in terms of uh, film, um, you know, and, and uh, her knowledge is, is pretty deep and elite. Uh, but also, you know, she's mixing in modern terms. Uh, so she's trying to keep everybody happy. You can figure that, you know, John Wick, Fast and the Furious, that's going to make um, the, the new generation happy, the, uh, the teenagers, the 20-year-olds. Uh, but she's giving in references for uh, for elderly people that might be watching her videos, which is really intelligent. But before we talk about this new bat Batmobile, and there is, uh, I think, a decent amount to say, first I want to talk about the Bat, who we can clearly see in each shot. Because after all, the Batmobile is an extension of the guy who drives it, the guy who made it. Batman. And I love how I love how Reeves' version of the character continues to look like he's come straight out of a comic. I mean, each one of these shots could easily be a comic book panel from a really good comic. Uh, this one, this is actually my favorite shot. I love it so much with the cape flowing in the wind, which of course is how you show movement in a static image, like a comic book panel. Oh, it's beautiful. And I, I also loved, I love how this pronounced collar looks. Uh, I know it's, it's a it's a bold choice. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. Uh, but I think it's working out quite. Now, yeah, and and you can see you can see why the uh, the studios invite her to screenings. Um, you couldn't pay for better um, better representation of your art. Uh, if if Grace was talking about one of my books, you know, I would be extraordinarily flattered because one I know that she would shoot me straight and uh she would say here's what I loved about it here's what I you know here was the downside and that's exactly what you need you know a as an artist um as a studio as a production company you need someone who's fearless uh who is going to say you know exactly what's on their mind and how is it making you feel you know there's there's a lot of talk about intellectualism and uh, what was the plot like? What was the character development? Certainly that's important, but we go to the movies for how they make us feel more than anything else. You know, I mean, it might be that you're on a date or what have you, but again, uh, whatever your purpose for going to that movie it's for the feelings that you're trying to get out of it. So if you take a date to a scary movie, it's because you know, that scary movie is going to make your date feel a certain way. And she really taps into, um, you know, the feels of everything. So she's covering 90% of it, just looking at the emotional side of things and then breaking it down intellectually, which I think is beautiful. Quite well. It gives that cool pop color, like um, also Gotham by Gaslight feel. And um, I had it later on in my notes, but it, it actually is a perfect point to bring it up here. It's very Sherlock Holmes, very Jack the Ripper, which of course are also influences on the Batman mythology, 
potential. Uh, I mean, particularly the, uh, the the tech the detective aspect of it, which this movie is said to play up quite a bit. I mean, these this looks very much like that kind of story. Oh, it's so good! I love. Now check this out, and I love her reaction here, where she's saying, "Oh, it's so good." That's that's just one of the cute things. That's one of her very cute uh, expressions that she does. But here again, she's going into the deep history of uh, of Sherlock Holmes and and the detective uh, nature of Batman. She's going into the origins. Um, she's bringing out the comic book side of things, and she's also she's showing women that it's okay. It's okay to like these quote unquote geeky things that uh, it, within our society. Um, these things are not just for uh, men and they're not just for boys. So, so women and girls can, uh, can enjoy these things uh, just as much as anyone else. And she's really leading the pack on that. So um, again, there's, there's a lot of reasons to love her channel. It's, it's called beyond the trailer. I'm going to give you just a little bit more here as we go. Um, and the fact that this Batman can pull focus from the first look at the Batmobile with red lights in your face, no less, is very promising. I mean, my eye should be on the car, and it does go to that right, right away second. But first, I'm like, who is that mysterious, awesome figure back there? That, and that's wonderful. Batman is so often not the focus of Batman movies, uh, which, is, uh, which has been difficult and unfortunate for the character and the actors who play him. But I think this movie is going to change that. And I, because if you look at the other shots as well, where you get a really good look at the suit, I think he looks fantastic. He looks comic booky, but also action figure-y, right? It looks like he has a lot of uh, uh, articulation as an action figure. And articulation is key because the suit actually to me looks like the most Batman one we've had yet because it not only has the look, but it has that functionality. And I feel in the past, every single time, functionality has had to be sacrificed to achieve the look. And because those Batman couldn't really move, for some reason, Bat the Bat Flick Batman moved fantastic in that warehouse fight, but that's the only time he moved well uh, in both movies. I don't know why that functionality never carried over into any other scenes. It didn't. Okay, look at this analysis again. Uh, just, just beautiful the way that she's layering this. So, starting from Batman films have not been so much about Batman lately. That's a really uh, intricate insight. She put a lot of thought into that. Certainly, well before she started uh, creating this video, before she started filming, she thought really hard about that in terms of what, what have these films uh, been about? What was the Justice League about? And and no one has really gotten deep into the mythology of the Batman character. Um, and and it's, it's a really interesting take. I mean, again, you know, when, when I talk about uh, how you entertain the brain, how you fascinate people, you have to entertain both the left and the right side of the brain. So the left side of the brain is logical. The right side of the brain is artistic. She's hitting you on the um, on the intellectual level saying, hey, you know, why haven't Batman films been about Batman? And here it looks like they're, they are resurrecting, um, you know, that mythos, um, the mythology, if you will. And, and that's a great point too, because if, if the film is not about Batman, uh, then you just have, uh, you know, a, a guy in a, in a cape and a interesting costume, maybe even, you know, on this left side, kind of a little more of a funny looking costume. Uh, if, if you don't have that, that character, if you don't have that really strong character to go with it, it's just a silly costume, honestly. But if you have that character to go with it and that, that fear and, and that gravitas, then it is iconic and it is special. So um, she's making some great points and then where she's breaking down uh, the movement, uh, even intellectually. So she's giving you uh, the the, the deep-seated uh, intelligence behind it. How how can he move in this costume? How does it look? Um, so the aesthetics, that gives you the feelings. That's, that's for the right side of your brain. And then the intellectualism of, why haven't the movies been about Batman? How, uh, how has the costume affected their movements? Um, Again, it's wonderful, but look how fast, you know, just in terms of 
the amount of time that we've spent here, just one second, let me go back to her main channel page. Just in terms of the amount of time that we spent here, look how quickly she's bringing it. You know, when on YouTube, you need to bring your concepts about every six to eight seconds if you want to keep your audience uh, engaged and focused. And she is doing that hand over fist. Another thing I really like about her is she, she comes to the defense of people a lot. Um, when social media is attacking them, when um, when you have uh, kind of social justice kicking in, and it's and it's not right, you know, if someone is um, incorrectly being shamed, or if someone is incorrectly uh, being beaten down in Hollywood, uh, Grace comes to their defense, and she's she's very bold, she's very brazen, she's not afraid to defend uh, people in the Hollywood community. And, um, you know, in, in terms of even things with the Me Too movement, you know, where um, people like Aziz Ansari, uh, in my opinion, Aziz, you know, got hit too hard on the Me Too movement. I read the accusations regarding him and the situation was not something that, that could have been um, as controversial as it seemed. The, the I'm not going to get into the details because I don't want, you know, I don't want to bring uh, my channel into the dirt, but um, the the act that took place that that basically brought him down was not an act that could have been, you know, forced on someone. You know, so she she takes things like that and she will stand up for the actor. She'll stand up for the artist. She'll stand up for the studio. But when they're wrong, like Harvey Weinstein, that guy's you know I think we can all agree is a total piece of trash um she'll hit them hard too so but that's the great thing about it i mean we don't want to to have social justice that is destroying our actors and our artists for no reason you know these people work hard to get where they're at and if it's deserved you know like your like your harvey weinsteins absolutely take them down take them out of the industry they're just poisoning this experience for these for these women and these little girls that want to come to Hollywood and, and they're looking for just a great experience to shine um, and to achieve their, um, to achieve their, their uh, presence in life, to achieve their, their ultimate um, potential. That's the word I was searching for. These girls just want to achieve their potential. Like any artist wants to achieve their potential. And grace is one of those people that helps them to shine uh, she goes to uh, to screenings all the time. She keeps her passion flowing. Uh, she has a tremendous library of videos. And you can see uh, she is a hard worker. I mean, look at this. Just in the last week, you know, three weeks in, two weeks in, uh, you know, she's on it. And you see these videos here where she's got her glasses on. I think that's, that may be the times when um, she didn't have time to throw on any makeup and she just had to, to throw a video together, which... Again, I admire that very much. Uh, she's not afraid to just be natural grace with no makeup, to just come in and be a baller. Um, I respect grace as much as I would respect any one of my guy friends, um, especially, I mean, with her, her level of intelligence, she's on the uh, upper echelon. So I very much enjoy the content that she's created um, over the years. I've seen her stuff going uh, way back, you know, several years back and how she's evolved in her presentation. Um, and Grace, Grace is a force to be reckoned with and she's, she's someone to be respected and admired. So I'll quit gushing uh, about this, but the, uh, the YouTube channel is called Beyond the Trailer and Grace Randolph is our hero today. So this again is for Happy International Women's Day. And then let's go ahead and get our She Inspires Me hashtag going. So um, share this video. Uh, talk about Grace Randolph. Please use the hashtag. And then maybe even share some of Grace's videos with the hashtag uh, with She Inspires Me. But that uh, that's the first person that, uh, that I want to represent today. And uh, I just want to thank everyone for their time again. And uh, let's just keep plugging along here.